What's going on, Beastly Nation? It's the Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. And Konami, you know you fucked up, right? You know you done fucked up. Konami is fucked up, and uh, they know it. I'm sure they've known for a long time, but it seems like they're in that situation where they know they screwed up, but they don't want to be humble about it. They want to just screw people over and turn their back and hope people forget and get selective amnesia and just forget all the bad things that happened behind the company. But at least one Konami representative knows it and has actually talked about it and wants to earn us back as gamers. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I will drop a link in the description. Konami rep says, quote, I hope we can earn you back, end quote. Konami's U.S. social media manager takes to Reddit to respond to fan questions and comments regarding Konami, Metal Gear Solid, Castlevania, Silent Hill, and more. In 2015, Konami managed to alienate almost all of its dedicated fans through a series of head-scratching decisions that included high-profile games being canceled, major talent jumping ship, and the company switching its focus from console gaming to pachinko machines. Some think that the damage has been done, but Konami's social media manager in the U.S. believes that there's still hope for the company to win back its fans. Konami's social media guy, whose name is Ben, has been responding to Konami-related posts on Reddit for the past month. It seems like most of his posts are defending Konami from criticism, but he has also let slip some interesting pieces of information about things that could go a long way in repairing the damaged relationship the company has with its fans. For example, we know that Konami has plans for future Metal Gear Solid games on console, and Ben has teased that an announcement will come next year, in celebration of the franchise's 30th anniversary. If Konami is able to produce something impressive that Metal Gear Solid fans will want to play, even without the involvement of franchise creator Hideo Kojima, then some might be willing to forgive its past transgressions. Speaking of past Konami transgressions, one of his most controversial decisions last year was the cancellation of Silent Hills. While Ben didn't outright state that Konami is working on a new Silent Hill game, he did say that when one of the company's franchises isn't seen for a while, it doesn't mean that the series is dead. Rather, it means that Konami is, quote, reviewing the IP, end quote, and trying to, quote, find a good fit for it, end quote. Even if Konami announced new games in all of its beloved franchises, it would still have a long road ahead of it when it comes to winning back fans. After all, Konami fans aren't just upset about the lack of Castlevania or Silent Hill sequels, they are also upset about the perceived mistreatment of Deo Kojima, who wasn't even allowed to accept an award for Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain at the Game Awards 2016 this past December. Stranger things have happened in the video game industry, however, and while it may be difficult for Konami to win back its fans, it's certainly not impossible. Ben's approach to the matter, engaging with fans directly on Reddit, could be a step in the right direction, and prove to former Konami enthusiasts that the company cares about their opinions. Well, this guy Ben, you know, I give you credit, Ben, uh, we appreciate that, you know, you answering questions, being candid about the mistakes and transgressions of Konami. But at this point, Konami has done a whole lot to piss off us, the gamers. And I'm not speaking for everybody, but I know a lot of people feel the way that I do. Uh, at this point in time, the only thing Konami could really do for me would either be to release, re-release old Konami classics... And that's it. I mean, I really don't want to see anything new. I don't want to see a hollowed out, creatorless Metal Gear Solid 5. Metal Gear Solid is not something that just anyone can pick up and create. It takes a special person. It's one of those situations where it's a person. It's not a group or a team. Kojima is that person that's held this franchise together and made it what it is. You can't hand that off to someone else and say, here, write uh, a Metal Gear Solid game. They might get lucky, but it's not going to be the same. It doesn't have the heart and soul. Castlevania, you already screwed Castlevania over. Silent Hill, I mean, maybe if you gave every gamer in the world five free games, <laughs> I mean, that might be the, the only way that people will really come back to you, you know. Konami, you really screwed up quite a bit. Uh, I don't know what the future is for the company. You know, it doesn't look good. I do give this guy Ben credit for trying, you know, to speak on behalf of Konami and say, hey, we screwed up and hopefully we can earn you guys back. But it's going to take, it's going to take a lot of work, you know, and... I know everybody doesn't feel that way. Some people say, man, I like games and I just want to play games. And if Konami makes games, I want to check them out. There are people who are going to say that. But there are also people with standards who say, you know, Konami's been around for 30 years or longer. You know, they're a part of gaming history. They, they are part of the well-known establishment of time-tested games, old classics. You know, Metal Gear, Castlevania, these Contra, these games all mean a lot to old school gamers. And a lot of people grew up playing them. I love Silent Hill. I think Silent Hill is probably one of my favorite horror a uh, series of all time. Metal Gear, of course, PlayStation 1, one of the best PlayStation 1 games of all time. And of course, the series has gotten better and better over time. Good luck, you know, good luck. 
uh, Konami. I think that, you know, senior management needs to be the ones out in the front doing this. Not some guy who's over public relations, you know, taking to Reddit. It needs to be senior management. It needs to be a management staff. It needs to be a whole press conference of the senior management team apologizing to their consumers for killing off beloved franchises for the mistreatment of uh, de developers. You know, Koji Igarashi left uh, and, and Kojima's gone because of, obviously, the mindset of senior management at Konami. And I think they're the ones who need to come out and apologize to the gamers. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, can Konami earn us back? What can they do? What can they do to bring the gamers back to their side? I know something can be done. I just don't know what the answer is. And maybe you guys do. So share it in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. And tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time. Take a body, 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 take a body